Now, when dividing numbers, um, there's a couple different ways we write division, right? 60 divided by 12 can be also written as 60 over 12. And you can also write in 12 divided into 60. All right, and we're actually going to be exploring all sorts of these. Um, but we're looking into dividing um, 60 into 12. There's a couple different ways of looking at this. We don't, this really doesn't help us so much, all right? But I do kind of like this format, because when I look at it in this format as like a fraction, um, I can think of like reducing it down. And a lot of times, there might be some opportunities for you to be able to reduce the fraction. So if you look at 60 and 12, think about, all right, well, what do those two numbers share? They both share 6. And how many times does 6 go into 60? 10 over 2. So that's an equivalent fraction, right? If you divide a 6 on the top and the bottom, you've now produced an equivalent fraction. And can, is it much, can we solve 10 divided by 2? 5. It's much easier, right? So if you create it as a fraction and then just think about reducing it, think about reducing it, you can a lot of times make the math easier for you to be able to solve. However, ladies and gentlemen, not always are we going to have a fraction, though, that's going to evenly divide into, a, or I'm sorry, a number that's going to evenly divide into another one, meaning we're going to have decimals. And that's where this process is going to become very important. All right? And again, if you remember, the first thing we do is take our outside number and say 12 divided into 6. Well, 12 doesn't divide into 6, so then we go to there and say 12 divided by 60. Well, now we're back into the same process, right? We're back to exactly where we started. So the way that I like to do this, if you're just thinking about this in your head, is you know, add multiples. You have 12, 24, 36, and then just keep on adding your multiples to get up to 60. Obviously, if this is like 6,000, it's going to be a little bit different. But then we can follow the division algorithm, which we'll go over later. But if I just add these up, first these simple ones that you guys are going to be starting with today, you can say that, oh, yeah, it goes in there 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Five times. All right. So basically, today we're going to be doing with some easy ones. We're not going to do the extensive long division algorithm. But those are just kind of two ways for you guys to think about when we're dealing division problems. Okay?